continue our team coverage on the technology outage since this morning. Now people traveling across the border saw an increase of wait times at the international bridges today. ABC 7's Juarez correspondent Ediberto Perez has this story. Today's ID outages also affected some borderland crossers here in Juarez and in El Paso. You can see behind me the long lines of vehicles waiting to cross into the U.S. here at the Bridge of the Americas, but this bridge was not the only one impacted by the outages. The Paso del Norte and Isleta bridges also saw an increase in wait times today. I spoke with some borderland residents who told me they've been here in line for over two hours and they expect to do another two or more. Gerardo told me he had spent almost two hours in line. He was hoping to not get into a secondary inspection to save another hour. Today's global tech outage resulted in this. Long wait times at different ports of entry in our area, with some users reporting on social media doing hours of wait time this morning too. Dos horas. ¿Y cuánto más espera hacer para cruzar? When I interviewed Carlos, he also had been waiting two hours at the bridge, and they were not even at halfway point of the bridge. U.S. Customs and Border Protection said in a statement they were experiencing processing delays due to the global technology outage, but they were still ensuring national and homeland security and working with their stakeholders to minimize the impact to international trade and travel. In Ciudad Juarez, Heriberto Perez, ABC7. Thank you, Eddie Berto.